Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and welcome to my ingredients analysis, swatches, application demonstration, and wear test of the Charlotte Tilbury Stone Rose Beauty Instant Look in a Palette. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. My videos help you to become a more informed consumer because I dive deep into the ingredients going into our skincare, cosmetics, hair care, and dental products using evidence-based research. You should absolutely know the ingredients going into your personal care products and I'm here to help you do just that. When I reviewed the ingredients for the Stone Rose Beauty, I realized they were exactly the same as the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look In A Palette, the gorgeous glowing beauty. These are two different palettes with the same ingredients, only a variation in the colorants, and that's because the shades are different. So for this video, if you're interested in the ingredients for the Stone Rose Beauty, please head over to my gorgeous glowing beauty. You can check out the ingredients in that video and also check out the swatches as well to see which palette you like best if you're thinking about choosing one. I will link the video for this palette down below in my description box. As far as the swatches, application, and wear test for this video, I also will have timestamps in my description box below as well as clickable timestamps pinned as the first comment in this video if you'd like to skip ahead. Now let's get into the product packaging for the Stone Rose Beauty. The packaging of the Stone Rose Beauty is a complete departure from Charlotte's typical aesthetic. Instead of having the brownish maroon covering, instead we have this beautiful picture of roses. On the front it says Stone Rose Beauty Instant Look in a Palette and down below we can see that the net weight is 5 times 2 grams and 2 times 6 grams for the different shades within this palette. This palette retails for 54 US dollars and here in Dubai it is 280 dirhams which comes out to 76 US dollars. On the back side of the palette we can see all the ingredients which once again head over to my gorgeous glowing beauty if you want to learn about them. And on the bottom I can see the open jar symbol with a 30M. That tells me that once I start using this product, I have 30 months until it expires. When I open up the box, I can see that the packaging is completely normal. This is Charlotte's typical aesthetic. She has the different powders and what their purpose serves. So there is seven powders in total, three eye, two face, and two cheek. When I open up the palette, I can see these gorgeous shades, all having this soft, rosy type of hue. Now, I am going to swatch these shades, and I'm first going to use my finger to swatch so we can see what the pigmentation is like, followed by a brush swatch. All my brushes are clean and unused, so there's no other makeup interfering with the swatch. I'm first going to start off with the one eye brighten, two eye enhance, three eye smoke, four face bronze, five cheek swish, six cheek pop, and seven face highlight. Now let's have some fun and try on these shades. I do right now have my skincare on as well as some makeup. I have my foundation, concealer, and a loose powder, as well as my eyebrows filled in. We're going to start off with the eye brighten and put it all over the eyelid. This is going to give my eyelids a uniform base and to help cover up any of the small veins that are visible through my skin. Next, I'm going to use the Eye Enhance, and I'm going to put it on my crease as a transition shade. I'm also going to put it on my lower eyelid. Mm -hmm. 
To apply the eye and hands to my eyelid, I'm going to use my finger. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of the eye brighten on the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to take the eye smoke, which is this really pretty dusty rose, and put it on the outer corner of my eye to just give my eye a nice, soft, diffused, smoky look. I'm also going to take this brush and line my lower lash line with the same smoke shade. So this is what my makeup looks like right now, and don't be alarmed, I am now going to do a lot of blending. If you have trouble blending eyeshadow in, especially on the lower lash line, your brush probably isn't soft enough. I love this brush by Sigma. This is their blending brush. It is the E25, I believe. And it is so soft, it doesn't irritate my skin at all. And it really does help to just diffuse the eyeshadow beautifully onto my skin. Now that I have my eyeshadow applied, I'm going to just put on the rest of my eye makeup off camera. And when I come back, we will finish up with the face and cheek powders. In addition to putting on the rest of my eye makeup, I also put on the Charlotte Tilbury Stone Rose Lipstick. This goes with the palette, as well as the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of Shame Lip Cheat. This is the lip liner. And finally, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon. This is the Golden Quartz Liner. It says it's for hazel eyes. I have green eyes and I think it works beautifully. So this is the rest of the makeup. I will have an ingredients analysis on the lipsticks coming soon. Now let's move on to the bronzer. And I'm going to put this underneath my cheekbones and do a little bit of nose contour with it as well. Now we'll move into the Cheek Pop. This is shade number six. And we'll put a touch of the Cheek Swish on the apples of my cheeks. I do wanna point out that in using this palette right now, the shades are just kind of mixing everywhere. All of the little particles are just flying around. So to use this Cheek Swish, I really have to almost clean it off with my finger because the darker brown and this dark pink shade have just gotten so much pigment into the swish. And I'll just do a little bit more blending with that. This is the Sephora number no. seven Kabuki brush. I love it, it is just incredibly soft. And finally, we will put on the highlighter. And once again, so much kickback from the other shades. The Charlotte Tilbury Stone Rose Beauty Instant Look in a Palette, as well as the Stone Rose Lipstick. What do you think of this look? Please comment down below and let me know. So far, I have to say, I love the shades and I love the powders. They're such a nice quality. They're so easy to blend. And I always feel that Charlotte Tilbury's products are very mature skin friendly. When I say that, I mean that the powders just glide so effortlessly onto the skin and they do help to diffuse the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles because she uses a lot of 
ingredients such as mica and synthetic fluoroflogopite, which is synthetic mica, and they have light diffusing properties. They reflect light, and in doing so, it actually creates this illusion of blurring your imperfections on your skin. And I just love the shades. I love how they applied. If I could change anything about this palette, it would have been nice to have two more eye shades, a matte white or a matte cream color to give my eyes just a uniform base. Usually I like to do that without having shimmer in that particular powder, as well as a soft rose color would have been very nice if it didn't have any shimmer in it to use as the transition color. But with all that being said, I think that this just looks beautiful. The only critique I have so far is the fact that there is just so much kickback with these powders because they are so soft. So there's a lot of transfer all over the shades. So this is something when you use it frequently, especially you're going to constantly be needing to wipe it down. But other than that, the mirror is nice and large and it was really to apply the cosmetics and I really can't complain. So I'm now going to go about the rest of my day. I do not have the most exciting day in front of me. I have the school pickup, which I will be looking quite glam for. They never know what I'm going to look like in school. I'm either completely done up or I'm testing skincare and I have no makeup on my face whatsoever. But I'm going to go pick up my kids. I will come back and check back in with you later on and let you know how the makeup is looking on my skin. Also how it's feeling. I do have very dry skin. I have sensitive eyes. And sometimes the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows can make my eyes water quite a bit. Most shimmery eyeshadows do. So I'll let you know if I have an, any type of experience with that. So I'll see you later on. It's been quite a while since I saw you last and I wanted to check back in with you and share how the Stone Rose Beauty Palette has performed on my skin, specifically how it looks and feels. As far as looks go, I think it looks pretty good. I have not touched up my makeup at all today. This is the same makeup that you saw on me earlier and it still looks quite fresh and vibrant. It also feels great. My skin doesn't feel dried out as all, at all and I really do like the form formulas of these different powders. I find them very emollient and almost hydrating to my incredibly dry skin. I really can't fault this palette with the exception of the fact that it does get quite messy, which I talked about earlier today, but that's just a part of it. So you can either take it or leave it, but it is truly an instant look in a palette. The makeup also photographs so nicely. After I got to my kid's school, I parked my car and I took a few selfies and it just looks so wonderful on camera. The pictures I'm showing you right now have not been edited. They're not filtered. It is just me. I promise you there is no sorcery on these photos whatsoever. And I took them using my iPhone 7 Plus because apparently I'm the last person and that still has an iPhone 7 Plus front facing camera. Overall, I have to say I love this palette. I think this is a great palette to have and I love the fact that it not only covers the eyes but it also provides the bronzer, the highlighter, and blushes. This is such a great buy and I really recommend checking it out for yourself, treating yourself to one if you are interested in them. I do also want to point out that these palettes are great for traveling. You can really do so much with these shades and you can go from a daytime look with just a minimalist eyeshadow up to a full out vampy smoky eye. So if you are traveling and you're contemplating getting a palette like this, I highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Charlotte Tilbury Stone Rose Beauty Instant Look in a Palette. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment down below and let me know if you would ever purchase the Stone Rose Beauty Palette or if there's any other palettes you'd like me to review. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye bye.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe now to Lauren O'Connell Beauty TV and let's navigate together through the world of beauty.